What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm here to bring to you my takeaways and analysis video for this week's game versus Minnesota. Uh, before I get started with my analysis, uh, you know, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me, let me know how you feel about the game. Uh, let me know how you feel about the result of the game. Were you happy? Were you disappointed? Uh, did it turn out the way you thought it was going to? Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below. Also, uh, leave a like on the video if you like the video. It uh, definitely helps out my channel and helps to get the video out to everybody. And if you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed to the channel, remember to turn on notifications. So, where do I get started with this game? Um, let me start with the positives. So, positives I can give to this game are, even though the offense again struggled, um, you know, it was good to see Alex Orgy actually drop back and air it out. You can see that the man can throw the football. So it's just a matter of him getting more reps, more in-game reps, getting his confidence up. Uh, he made some nice throws, uh, and he made some bad throws, like that interception. You know, it the throw was there. He was just late on it. And it was bad placement. But that just comes with, you know, playing the position more, getting more confidence, getting more touch, just getting more reps throwing the football in live game action. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's a work in progress. So it was good to see a little bit more balance as far as him dropping back and passing. He hit some nice throws, some outs. Uh, he threw a nice uh, pass for 16 yards to Kendrick Bell. So... You can see improvement, but it's definitely not there. And I mean, other than the running game being good and some holes being opened up, I, I can't see any other positives. The defense played really well in the first half, but th this has been a formula for disaster really for the last three games in a row. I mean, it happened in Arkansas State. We just kind of brushed it off. Oh, we just put in our backups. That's what happened. That's what I thought. But then the same thing happened against USC in the second half. And then again, it happened versus Minnesota this game. And basically what it is is especially these last two games, it's like the opponent makes their adjustments on defense. And then our offense can't do anything. And then because our offense can't do anything, now our defense is now on the field more than uh, they would normally be. Now they're gassed. And now you can see how this the glaring lack of depth is a huge factor in these games. And that might go back to strength and conditioning. You know, you know the, the new guy, I know he's handpicked and blessed by Ben Herbert, but who knows if that's making a difference because I, I know in the past, in the past few years, that's been Michigan's bread and butter that come the end of the game, you know, they got the horses to go and the other teams are the teams that are tapping out. But it seems like it's full in reverse. We're tired at the end of games. We're giving up yards. We're giving up scores. We got outscored, what, 17-3 um, to three in the second half? I mean, we were like maybe inches away from giving up that onside kick. 
and Minnesota, you know, driving to either tie or win the game against us. I, I mean, it's just the end of these games has been real sloppy and real poor, poorly coached. Clatt was spot on with his analysis. Like, what are we doing? I mean, we did exactly the same thing that USC did at the end of the game to help them lose the game against us. The, t the, the clock was in our favor. We had an opportunity to run clock and we're snapping the f football with like 12 seconds left in the clock. Instead of running the football, we pass in as an incomplete pass. And now the clock stops. Like, what are we doing? And it's like, in the second half of these games, not only are we getting gas, but it's like Wink, I don't know, he just gets desperate, it seems. And then what was working for us in the second, first half, he just goes all against that. All of a sudden, he just starts blitzing like crazy. And it's just leaving man defense. Even Clatt was like, what are these guys doing? Why are you, why are you blitzing? I just don't understand that. So, USC, we're blitzing, leaving guys wide open. This game, we're blitzing, leaving guys on an island, getting beat one-on-one. -on -one. When all we have to do is just do what we did and, you know, play zone, get the pressure that we were getting, and just go from there. Now, I, I can't, in this game, I can't judge the defense fairly because we're missing Stewart, we're missing um, Will Johnson. So, you know... It's one of those things where, uh, you know, I had those guys been in there. Obviously, you know that that hurts our depth. It helps. It hurts our pass rush. Obviously, um, but it it just it go, just goes to show that we're real thin at those positions, especially on the line. Once the starters go out, it's like we get no pass rush. There's no push. The quarterback has all day. And that's when you start seeing us get picked apart. And then I guess that's when Wink decides he's got a blitz. But it's like, pick your poison. I'd rather get picked apart um, in zone than to get killed in man and give up a big play. And that that has just been the recipe for disaster for the second half in all these games. We just, you know, it, it just looks like these teams are coming on strong, but it's really just, I mean, obviously it starts with the offense, um, you know, not sustaining drives. The, the real comeback started when we turned the football over for that first time on the interception. And then it's like, I don't know, like the team just lost confidence. You know, you punt the, the punt the ball away and then you get a long return off the punt. Gives them a short field. I mean, just think about it. Had we not got a short field from that fumble, from that fumble recovery, um... You know, we had two short fields that we worked with to get, you know, two of our touchdowns. Imagine we don't get that. I don't see us being able to drive the field. We would have lost this game. So a lot of this is on the coaching. A lot of bad decisions, both on the offense and on the defense. And, you know, had we not had very good special teams play as far as blocking a punt, field goal kicking, we probably lose this lose this game. 
So I, I know a win is a win, but this team has so much work to do. I'm nervous about this next game going on the road against Washington. Um, if we play like we played this week, we're going to lose. I mean, that's just the bottom line. So many things have to be improved upon. So many things have to be worked upon. Um, I still feel as though our Alex Orgy is the guy for the quarterback position. He gives us the best chance to win. Uh, you know, like I said, his pick, it wasn't... Like, it wasn't something egregious where he just threw into double coverage or he just threw the ball up for grabs because he was going to get hit. It was just a, it was just poor placement and poor timing on his throw. And those things can get worked on. Those things can be improved upon. So I'm, I'm happy that he looks like he's, he's improving. Obviously, having Colson Loveland back in, the uh in the lineup helps um you know but it's got to be more than just colson loveland being the you know the guy somebody else has to step up and i'm not just talking about klein i'm talking about another wide receiver they need somebody to make a play other than our tight ends and our running backs Gosh, we're not going to be able to beat the top-notch teams. Any team that has, you know, even an inkling of good defense, they're not going to allow us to do what we did. As long as we play ahead, we're good. But let us get down 14 to nothing and see what happens. So, it's just, like I said, I... I I think the defense overall played well, but it's like if our offense can't sustain drives and we're on the field long, then death comes into issue, into play. We get tired. We're substituting on guys that are not, you know, making plays. And we either get picked apart or we get killed in man because we're blitzing like Don Brown 2.0 and either way we're getting killed because of it. So it's on to next week. Like I said, I'm, it's like, I'm happy that we won, but I'm disappointed in the way that we won. It's just, it's just not good. Not good at all. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if, you, if you made it this far, give me a go blue in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the game. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video as it definitely helps my channel. And if you enjoy my content, definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching. And as always, go blue.